see the Serrano pod itself. If you know what a jalapeno looks like where it's kind of bigger on one end and it comes down to a smaller point on the other end, you just went and kind of reduce that one side and that's what it's wrong is it happy pepper but thursday everyone ron fartley here at fartley farms and today i've got my buddy sal 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 the serrano and he's joining us uh as a featured plant and sal will be going in the ground this week i've decided that this is the week where all of my plants, well not all of them, but most of my plants will be going in the ground. I spent some time on the garden and uh, everything's cleaned up, ready to go. And we're going to have a, like 30, 20 to 30 in the ground this week. Or the rain last week didn't help out at all in terms of hardening off. Uh, but this guy, Sal is definitely ready. <coughs> oh, sorry, uh, <laughs> Sal is definitely ready to go. Uh, the spicy snack that's coming up on Saturday got me a little bit. Uh, did these out of order on accident. So, Sal is a Serrano. Serranos are about 10,000 to 23,000 scopal heat units. Find that it's closer to like 18 to 20 majority of the time, but it is hotter than a jalapeno. Uh, you'll see that really the Serrano pod itself, if you know what a jalapeno looks like, where it's kind of bigger on one end and it comes down to a smaller point on the other end, we just went and kind of reduce that one side, and that's what it's wrong. Is it's like a finger almost, uh, where there's no real bulbous end. It's all just a very long, thin pepper. Majority of the time, you're gonna pick it when it's green. Uh, when you see it in a store, it is going to be green. They also have red. Um, and when I say they, I mean like sometimes the stores, the Serranos will be red, but. Overall, you can pick it when it's green and it's just as good. Uh, red, it means it's a little more ripe. It's gonna be a little more powerful heat-wise. I haven't noticed a ton of difference in terms of the flavor of the two. So it's really up to you as you're growing a Serrano plant whether or not you want to wait for it to turn red or if you wanna just pluck them off when they're green. Uh, I have enjoyed pickling these. It's one of, I think it's the second most produced pepper in Mexico. Uh, they produce like 180,000 tons per year of different Serranos. Um, it is what Serrano itself is like the type. And then there are, I want to say like 10 or so cultivars off of that. So different hybrids of the Serrano. Um, so yeah, overall really enjoy this plant. It's, it's very pretty green, I guess. Uh, you know, you have some pods that like a gnarly nasty green like a mustard green almost but serrano is versatile you can use it in a lot of different foods and it can start build up building up your tolerance um oh yeah it's also featured in the number two <laughs> serrano garlic this pepper for thursday brought to you by the serrano garlic follow your fart from fartley farms if you didn't see we actually have uh had made some jugs of those for this last batch of sauce uh, so that was pretty interesting. Like those are gone now. We we sold those. People wanted them more than we expected them to. So it sounds like for the next batch, uh, we'll probably create even more of those. Anyway, say goodbye to Sal. He'll be going outside into the boxes this next week, and we'll check it on check in on him from there. Thanks for watching, Pepper. Th oh boy. Thanks for watching Pepper Thursday for Fartley Farms. I'm Ron Fartley. We know spicy.